Hello everybody, it's Susie and Katrina here again for you. Hello. Hello, we are uh, in a different venue today because um, the rules changed <sighs> again and we're no longer allowed to go into Fiona's house, which is a real so, shame. Hello Fiona, hello, hello Martin. Fiona. Hello Martin, didn't Martin do brilliantly last week on his uh, beginner cello part? It was really Missing you already. Absolutely, it's really disappointing not to be able to play with them. But uh, we can play with you, and we can play, play with us. The SCO, and you can play with us. Yeah. So uh, let's make the most of what we can do together. This video is for Beedlo, um, which is Beedlo in everyone else's <laughs> language. If you don't speak Russian, I've Beedlo. been practicing. If you watch the SCO video, Nikita shows us very nicely how to say it with a really good say it Russian, again, a Russian accent. Beedlo, I can't do it. It's the thing. <laughs> sound is quite tricky he mentions that anyway um this is week four it's week already. four already wow. and if you're joining in for the first time welcome and don't worry you haven't missed too much you can catch up in no time yeah one of the joys of this project is that you can actually join in at any point so what we're playing today um katrina is going to play the beginner bass part and i'm going to play um well a tuba today <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe I'll make also it my challenge. Also known as the E flat bass. E so flat bass. The E flat bass part from a brass band, then you're on the same as. Susan. Absolutely, and there's a treble clef part there for you if that's what you play is E flat bass. Um, so we're going to play, and we start playing with all of the beginners at figure forty-two, which is the loudest point in the piece. Have you told them what the piece is about? It's, uh, well, Bidlo means cattle, but it's about a great big cart with enormous wheels trundling into view and then trundling away again. As so it end. starts really quietly, it gets louder and louder and louder. And when we come in at 42, we're the loudest bit. Mm -hmm. And we make it the loudest bit by joining in. So although it says three Fs, don't overplay, okay? Always. So not like this. No, let's, let's always sound. try to make our beautiful sound. Yeah, that should always be what we're trying to do, is to make the most beautiful sound that we can on whatever instrument we're playing. So just a little note for the people playing the learner string parts, you actually start in the third bar of figure 40, all right? We're gonna count the rest as usual, and you'll hear figure 40 called out, and then at the beginning of the third bar, I'll show you when to play. Okay, I'll give you an upbeat and that's where you start playing and I think you're all playing quavers at that point so you'll need to be playing with Nikita and um, uh, Eric who play quavers all the way through this okay so you'll hear lots of nice quavers it's slow it's in two so we're counting as a slow two one two okay two two that kind of thing. We've so got a lot of counting to do. We do have a lot of counting to do. There's quite a long wait and we need to be really ready to play on the on the nose right at figure 42 if you're playing the beginner parts. So all the woodwind and brass are playing the same as me, okay? The beginner strings are playing the same as Katrina and um, the learner strings I'll give you a cue for when you're to start playing. And we'll keep counting while you play as well, okay? It says at the top, sempre pesante. Mm. Sempre means always, and pesante means heavy. Heavy, yeah. Heavy. Listen to Nikita for your cue. I think Nikita and Eric do a great job. This is all about the big instruments. That's why we got the tuba out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is not my proper instrument. I'm only a <laughs> beginner tuba player, so. Uh, You're doing grand. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. But it's really only a few months that I've been playing the tuba, isn't it? So. Absolutely. So, so we go for it. Okay, then. right. I'm going to press play and Gordon's going to count us in two bars. Okay, if I've got this right, here we go. One, two, two, two. Thank you. 
Brilliant. Did you see how still Ashling and uh, Gordon, the violins, were sitting when they had their rests? They were like statues. They're quite relaxed statues. Very relaxed statues, but yeah. really, really still. That's kind probably of... one of the things we need to practice in this piece because we've got a lot of rests. So keeping your mind on the counting, but keeping your body really still and quiet. It's quite hard, isn't it? Did you see how that piece finished with a solo double bass? I did. And I that's did. the real thing. That's not somebody else's part of the thing. That is actually solo double bass at the end. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. I heard the car. I saw it in my mind. Yeah. I saw it. Absolutely. Brilliant. So I hope that's really helpful. Remember, you can watch these videos as many times as you like. Um, and then we'll make a video this week as well for Promenade 4. So make sure you look out for that as well. Okay. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.